Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy here and uh, I made at Crowfield, yes Crowfield, we're going to All Saints Crowfield because I do believe that Roy Hudd has now got a gravestone, yes so I thought, let's go and have a look, it's a grey old day cold, a bit too cold for me but there you go I thought, sod it, let's go and have a quick look. It's only about 12 miles from my house, in the middle of the countryside, as you can see. And I thought, let's go and see this uh, stone. Apparently, it's quite impressive. And uh, when I get there, I'll fill you in in the reasons why it took so long for him to have this stone. So we're nearly there. Uh, by the way, I'm using the sat nav on my bike for the well, my phone on the sat nav thing for the first time. For the first time. Yes. <laughs> well, I got fed up. I got fed up of um, getting lost. So I said to Aaron, Aaron, sort my phone out. I got the main, you give it, the boy give me the main, and I thought, sod it, I'm going to do this. So I had a quick introduction to how it all works, and I've got it working today on my own, I can't believe it. Yeah, so, <laughs> we're here, and it got me here perfectly. So, here we are. All Saints Crowfield. This is a beautiful place. We, I've brought you here a couple of times with uh, Roy Hudd. Once when we first found out he was buried here and the second time when uh, I come to see if he had a stone. And now I know he's got a stone. So we're going to go and have a look at that. But I'm 12 miles from my house. Look at this. It's unbelievable. So, <laughs> I bought um, a different camera with me today, I bought my uh, Lumix 7, which is a bit bulkier, but after last week's debacle with the uh, GoPro 6, I can't trust it. So, uh, I thought, well, if I bring my uh, Suffolk Spooks camera, I can use that and uh, be a bit safer. <laughs> oh, no, I'll get some uh, audio. So, anyway, I'll see you when we get there, okay? So we get our way down here. I've explained a lot about this area before. Uh, this here, you can see there's a moat. It's all green and nasty. There you go, it's all green and nasty. But there's an island in the middle of that, and there's a... Well, there was a 45 manor house in uh, the olden days here's some dogs are barking probably don't hear many people come down here <laughs> what a beautiful place like I say I've been over here twice now this is the third time and I've also done our very first Suffolk Spooks here with Amy I think it was the first one we ever done but this place always reminds me of a fairy tale, you know. Look at that. Look at that, what a place. Just like a fairy tale. A little throne here as well. Sat on that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's make our way down. Oh my word. This shows you where he is in the middle there. Look at that.
Roy, Hud Roy Hud OBE Hud's here 16th of May 1936 the 15th of March 2020 born in Croydon died at Crowfield just across the road there historian of music hall author actor comedian brother husband father grandfather loved well it made me laugh Oh, I like that. Yeah. Now the reason I see that uh, it took so long to get the gravestone is because one, the ground had to settle. And I can see that it has settled. You can tell from the last times I was here. And the other one was his wife wanted to get the proper headstone for him. And I think she ummed and ahed until they came up with this one. And then she said, no, that's right. And uh, yeah, brilliant. Well, it made me laugh. So, <laughs> there you go, Roy. So you can see he's in beautiful place. I suppose to rest forever. Roy Hud has got a gravestone. All I'm going to say, Roy, you made me laugh, mate. I always thought you had one of the most funniest faces I've ever seen. But the point is, you could you could make people laugh, and you could actually act as well, seriously act, you know, uh, without being a comedian, but you were a comedian. And uh, all I can say, my friend, is thank you for the enjoyment you gave me and millions of other people, you know, in the past. And all I can say now, mate, is rest in peace, forever be with the Lord. Thank you, Roy. Well, there you go. Roy Hud. Right, we're going to say uh, goodbye to All Saints Crowfield and uh, head back home. Well, I feel that my uh, quest is over for Roy Hud. Like I say, I've been out a couple of times, this is the third time, and now he's got a headstone and uh, job done for me. So it's probably the last time I come out here for a long, long while, if ever. But, uh, yeah. But the other thing is, uh, next week I'm away. Yes, I'm going away for on holiday. Yes, a late holiday. Don't have many, but I'm having one. And I'm going with Mrs. P and we're going to the South Coast. Yes, going to the South Coast. That will be Tuesday. We're going off for five days. Uh, I'm going to hopefully get this up for you for Tuesday, so it can run on Tuesday night. I won't be at home, but, <laughs> but hopefully Amy will get it all up and running for me, so you can enjoy it. So it only leaves me to say, all right safe, love each other, something handy.